What's good, cuz? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm bringing you guys another MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty rankings video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top 10 free pitchers in the game right now. Pitchers you don't have to spend a single stub on. If you guys are excited for the video, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. I would greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub. Can't take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so hot. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on MLB The Show 21 Diamond Dynasty, and today going to be giving you guys my top 10 rankings list for the top 10 free pitchers in the game right now. Pitchers you won't have to spend a single stub on and still have an excellent rotation in this game. If you haven't seen my video yesterday for the top 10 free position players, go check that one out. But just like my other top 10 lists, these lists are just my opinion. If you disagree, that is completely okay. But with that being said, let's get into it. Coming in at number 10 to get us started today is going to be the 92 overall Corey Kluber card. His five pitches to work from are a sinker cutter slurve forcing fastball and change up so a decent pitch selection there 111 hits per nine is excellent 84 k's per nine and 72 walks per nine are not the best his control though really good at a 92 doesn't have the best velocity but his breaking stuff is one of the best in the game his slurve is one of the best slurves on mlb the show 21 diamonds that you could find right now really good card to get a start at number 10 if you're looking to pick up this Corey kluber card go complete the may player of the month rewards program and you get him coming in at number nine is gonna be this 94 overall zach wheeler card his Five pitches to work from four seam fastball slider sinker combo curveball and a change up good pitch selection here 94 hits per nine so not as good as Corey Kluber's but his stamina at 103 84 k's per nine and then 98 walks per nine his control not as good as the Kluber's but the main reason he's above him is because this Zach Wheeler has 99 velocity and 99 break but the reason this Zach Wheeler is over the Corey Kluber is because this Zach Wheeler has 99 velocity and 99 break so he can throw the ball past a lot of guys and he can put it in the dirt for a lot of strikeouts if you want to pick up Zach Wheeler same thing go complete the May player of the month program and he's yours coming in at number eight is gonna be this 94 overall garrett crochet card only reason he's not a little bit higher up on this list is because he doesn't have the best pitch selection with only a four seam fastball slider change up and two seamer he doesn't have a cutter doesn't have a sinker those are two good pitches that you want your pitcher to have at least one of the two if you want to be higher up on this list that's the only reason i have garrett crochet at number eight he has great stats he has 99 hits per nine 104 k's per nine his control and walks per nine are not the best he has 74 walks per nine and then 81 control but he has the best fastball probably on this list at 102 with outlier he has 99 velocity 99 break has a really good slider good two seam fastball this card is a strikeout machine with the fastball the only thing is if people can catch on to the fastball and time him up he doesn't have a lot more to offer that's why he's at number eight if you want to pick up garrett crochet though go complete the al central team affinity season two coming in at number seven is gonna be the 97 overall cliff lee card his five pitches to work from are a sinker cutter circle change knuckle curve and forcing fastball so a good pitch selection from cliff lee 117 stamina his hits per nine though a little low at 90 90 might seem good but a lot of pitchers on this list have 95 plus even 100 plus good k's per nine though and good walks per nine though both over 100 there he has one of the best control stats on this list as well at 96 only 81 velocity though that's what keeps him from being higher up on this list the reason why cliff lee is not a little bit higher up on this list is because of his velocity with only 81 velocity he cannot throw the ball past a lot of guys if people can time up that fastball they react to the breaking ball stuff which is really nasty he does have a 99 break but if people wait on the fastball and react to the breaking stuff you could absolutely torch this card i suggest if you are going to use cliff lee i recommend you do not use him more than two times around in the lineup because it's only a matter of time so people start timing you up and taking him yard if you want to pick up cliff lee though go complete the NL East Team Affinity Season 2. Coming in number 6 is going to be the 96 overall Roy Oswald. His 5 pitches to work from here. 4 seam fastball, sinker, 12 6 curve, slider, and a change up. 113 stamina. That's really good. His hits per 9 though, very low. 79. You would like to see that a lot higher. That's why he's not higher up on this list. His case per 9 at 93. That's not bad. And then 105 walks per 9. He has good control at 89. And then he has decent velocity and decent break. Doesn't do anything excellent. He doesn't have the best break or the best velocity on this list that's for sure but the fact that he can do both is pretty solid he has the nastiest 12 6 curveball in the game right now in my opinion you hit somebody with a 96 mile per hour fastball then you drop it down to a 72 mile per hour 12 6 curveball you're going to be catching a lot of people off guard in the dirt for strikeouts if you're looking to pick up roy oswald another team affinity season two card you can get him in the al west now before we get into my top five for my top 10 free pitchers if you guys are finding this video helpful and you're enjoying the video do me a favor hit that like button 
Hit that subscribe button, it helps out the channel a bunch. I would greatly appreciate it, but let's get back into the list with our top five. Coming in number five is gonna be this 93 overall Corbin Burns card. His five pitches to work from sinker, cutter, slider, changeup, and curveball. In my opinion, I think he has the nastiest cutter in the game right now. The movement on it is absolutely ridiculous. His stats don't look the best, but he plays really good in game, trust me. 87 stamina, 96 hits per nine, 93 Ks per nine, and then 91 walks per nine. His control, not bad at 85, and then 99 velocity, 99 break. You love to have both of those stats at 99. If you want to pick up Corbin Burns, go complete the April Player of the Month program. Coming in at number four is going to be the 95 overall Quinn Priester card. Four seam fastball, curveball, changeup, sinker, and slider are his five pitches to work from. So, really good pitch selection there. I feel like a lot of people do not use this card online, but I'm not sure as to why. He has great stats. He kind of reminds me of Edward Cabrera, just not as good. We will be getting to Edward Cabrera in just a minute. He has 100 stamina, 97 hits per nine, 100 Ks per nine. Those per nine stats are really good. 86 walks per nine are okay. 86 control will get the job done. He can pinpoint his pitches if you are using pinpoint with those perfect accuracies he could put the ball where you want him to and then 99 velocity and 99 break he could throw the ball really really hard go over 100 miles per hour and then he could put it in the dirt for 80 miles per hour as well i really like this quinn priester card if you don't have him on your team i highly recommend you go try him out if you want to pick him up go complete the nl central team affinity season two coming in at number three is gonna be the 99 overall christy matthewson card his five pitches to work from screwball four seam fastball 12 six curve change up and sinker his stats look really, really good. 124 stamina. Can't get much better than that. Really good per nine stats here from Christy Matthewson. 124 stamina, 96 hits per nine, 97 Ks per nine, and then 107 walks per nine. His control also really good at 96. Doesn't have good velocity here at 79, but his breaking is 99, and that's what you're going to be using this card for. His screwball at 77 mile per hour is going to look deadly after throwing a 95 mile per hour fastball. The only reason Christy Matthewson is not a little bit higher up on this list in the two or one one spot is because I personally have not used him yet, but his stats look really good. Some people online are saying he's one of the best pitchers in the game. So I think at number three, this is pretty safe, but he could be moving up in the near future. If you want to pick up Christy Matheson, you have to do some grinding. He's one of the fourth inning bosses. Coming in at number two is going to be the 99 overall Vita Blue with a four seam fastball, curveball, change up slider, and two seam fastball. I cannot touch this card on Legend. The reason being 123 hits per nine. My PCI is so small compared to when I face other pitchers. I cannot touch him on legend 111 stamina 101 k's per nine his walks per nine not the best at 73 doesn't have the best control either at 81 but 99 velocity 99 break this card is ridiculously good if you want to pick up vita blue you either have to win 40 games in rank season or make world series in rank seasons and last but not least coming in at number one was there any doubt in anyone's mind who number one was going to be of course it's going to be this 94 overall edward cabrera this card is an absolute menace nobody likes facing him online and if you're putting him out on the mound and you're not going up against them it's almost a guaranteed win the most untouchable inside sinker in the game belongs to edward cabrera can get up to 101 miles per hour also has a slider curveball change up and four seam fastball on legend this card is unhittable 104 hits per nine 100 k's per nine only 95 stamina so not the best compared to some other cards but that's because he's a 94 and he does a lot of other things well so it doesn't really matter about his stamina 77 walks per nine and then 87 control with 99 velocity 97 break Break. This card is untouchable. No doubt in my mind. Best pitcher in Diamond Dynasty right now. If you do not have Edward Cabrera in your rotation, you're doing something wrong. Go get him right now in the NL East Team Affinity Season 2. Okay, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. My top 10 free pitchers in the game right now. Obviously, this list will have to be changed as more pitchers come out in the game. But for right now, this is my top 10 list. If you found this video helpful and you enjoyed the video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps out the channel a bunch. You can also follow me at my social links, which are on the screen for you guys right now, including my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Twitch. Been streaming a lot on Twitch recently, almost at 1,000 followers on there. So if you like live stream content, come check us out on Twitch. But that's a do for me today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace out.